Well, let's take a look at the team news then. And two changes for Everton from the defeat to Aston Villa. They'll certainly miss Tim Cahill, who's ruled out for six to eight weeks. James Beattie comes in alongside Andy Johnson up front as they revert to a 4-4-2. Phil Neville moves into midfield to compensate for the loss of Simon Davis, injured on international duty. Nuno Valente returns at left back. No Kevin Nolan for Bolton. His impending parenthood means he's not involved. So Ivan Campo returns in midfield. Nicky Hunt comes back in at right back which means Tal Ben Haim will please the central defensive beat while Gary Speed and Idan Tal in midfield are up against their old club well, we seem to be seeing this an awful lot at the moment things are not getting underway at the first time of asking but uh, it is about to uh, Ending the poor run, a month almost both sides have gone without that Premiership victory and if their European charge respectively is to maintain its momentum then they have to right that wrong really today, Gordon McQueen. Yeah, well as you mentioned Daniel, it's looking at an Everton side here that started the se season fantastically well. I've certainly stuttered a bit of late, as has the main goal scorer. Goals have dried up a little bit for Andy Johnson. Massive blow last week, losing Tim Cahill, who's been outstanding this season. And had more than a fair share of injuries as well of late Everton. But they're playing a Bolton side today that are a tough nut to crack. Joe Yogo dealing with that. Carsley in there with Edan Tal. I think this might be a common sight this afternoon. Those uh, aerial duels in the penalty box. As I've mentioned, a Bolton side that, well were once considered some years ago relegation candidates every year changed to such an extent and improved to such an extent that anything outside the top tens considered failure by the supporters well, it is a remarkable turnaround in Bolton's fortunes Everton expectation though high after their blistering start to the campaign Go. Still waiting for his first goal in the Premiership. Kevin Davis will be a real thorn in Everton's side aerially. James Beatty will hope to be the same for Bolton this afternoon. Back in the side in the absence of Tim Cahill. Yeah, I think there's going to be physical battles in both penalty boxes. You mentioned Johnson one end, Beatty the other. Depends how central defenders deal with it. Deal with it pretty easily if all the free kicks are like that. <laughs> yeah, disappointing delivery from Alan Stubbs on this occasion. Everton, first and foremost, need to find a goal. They didn't score against Fulham, or against Arsenal, or against Aston Villa. Lescott getting there ahead of Anelka. Now Carsley. Mikel Arteta. Spreading it for Beatty. And continuing his run. Phil Neville. So, controlling a midfield beat this afternoon. Leon Osman going to turn inside Ivan Campo who, uh, bundles over his fellow Spaniard and uh, makes it clear what he thinks about that well it's a bit of defending for Ball to do now no doubt looking for the head of James Beattie Lescott up Alan Stubbs Yobo all the big boys in the box well, there's no shortage Arteta's delivery dealt with by Gary Speed. Had plenty of those uh, situations against Aston Villa last week and didn't really make anything of them. And here's Bolton on the move. Juf fed by Edan Tal. Two arriving in the box. Valente to meet it. Well, I'll tell you what, Valente does well because he's quick in the counter attack. Bolton caught Everton cold. And still pressing here, Bolton with an Elka. Tal. Oh, he'd love a goal here at Goodison Park. 
Things didn't go particularly well for Edan Tile during his time at Goodison Park. Was always a peripheral figure under Walter Smith. But uh, given a second taste of Premiership action by Sam Allardyce. Campo, who's returning to the team today. Kevin Nolan's fiance in labour as we speak. And here's Anelka. And now Juf. Possibilities here for Bolton. Stubbs trying to shackle Juf. Less got away. Campo might fancy the shot. And he's been amongst the goals this season, Ivan Campo, but that one not troubling Tim Howard. Well, they don't quite clear the lines here, Everton. Juf trying to pick out. An elk in the centre there. Ball's clear to the feet of Campo. Not only very good technical ability, but he doesn't get that one right. Stops away. BT. Phil Neville, Everton trying to get things moving. The searching ball doesn't find Mikel Arteta. He's actually popping up more often on this right flank at the moment. Here's Anelka. Now Campo. Juf. Yobo will be penalised for the challenge. I think it was just the controller, do you feel? He just nicks the ball away. As you always coming in to try and win it. Juve's delivery. Turn your heads up, but Uriah Rennie spotted something. Well, Davis certainly in amongst the group of bodies in there, as you'd expect. Going to be difficult for the referee, isn't it? Uriah Rennie, tough job this afternoon. It's three kicks, corner kicks. A lot of big physical players out there. Kevin Davis scored in the 4 0 win here last season and got two here for Bolton the season before that. So Goodison is a ground where he has an excellent record. I also remember a fabulous individual goal here during his time at Southampton. So he knows his way to the net at Goodison Park. Hunt now Juf Davis and Stubbs there nice. good improvisation from Beatty and he'll get it back Osman space briefly opened up Ben Haim and now Mate win it back for Bolton El Hadj Juf speed here's Davis Juf had the beatings of Phil Neville there. And Phil Neville in some pain, and he is not one to stay down. Well, obviously a nasty knock in the knee here. He might be getting a booking as well for his troubles, I'm afraid, because it, it was a bad foul on an Elka. He's lunged in. Elka's nicked it past him. He's picked up a bit of a knock in the proceeds. And probably a yellow card. Um, Uri Rennie's waiting for Phil Neville to be able to face him to receive the yellow card. A fairly costly challenge from Phil Neville then. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's lunged in a bit there, Jeff. I mean, just mistimed it, got it wrong. Got an injury into the bargain for it. Everton without Neville as they defend this free kick. Charles delivery. Oh, and it almost caught Howard completely out. 
reacted well in the end. Well, they talk about the ball moving from free kicks nowadays. That's not a case of the ball moving, that's a case of the wind moving the ball. Nearly catches Tim Howard out. Just, uh, with a few words of wisdom for his colleagues in the dugout. Sammy Lee on the receiving end of the messages there. Well, certainly neither manager can be looking for any more effort from the players. There's been plenty of that from both sides. That's that handball by Dean Antar. Osman. Now by Pedersen, but... Arteta. Now Yobo for Everton. Nelka, but not getting beyond Del Hatch Juice. Juice will get the free kick. Davis the target and he got up there. And Nelka. Les got away. The second attempt by Les got. Let's kick the first one. He could really have been in trouble there, couldn't he? But an escape for Everton. Back in his uh, more familiar role in central defence today, Julian Les got, but has also been uh, impressive in the left back role. Well, I think he's proved less good. Lead on in there from Davis's flick on. I think Lescott's proved that there is players in the Championship that are more than capable of coming up to Premiership and coming in and doing a, a really good job that this fella's done. He's overcome some pretty awful injuries in his career as well as Lescott. Entire season of Premiership football with Wolves. Here's Arteta for Everton. Johnson trying to get the flip but couldn't. Yogo away, but Chufu will win another free kick. Well, it looked like Stubbs got a bit of the ball here. You can see him coming, probably hear him coming in actual fact. Just tries to nick it over Stubbs. That was a decent tackle. Composed delivery. Solidly defended by Joseph Yobo. They have to be as well, because they're just looking for Davis here. He's trying to get a flick on it and Duf and an L2 are in the box. On another one again there, Davis. And again, Everton stand firm. Neville. Beatty the target, and he got up over Ben Haim. And we'll get a free kick as well. Well, it was a free kick. He gets the flick on Beatty. Ben Haim comes in a bit late. They're always going to come off second best here, Ben Haim. Beatty. That stretch boot couldn't quite gather it in. Osman, though, will win a corner. Well, chance for the big boys to come up, and up again. Lescott, Stubbs, Yobo, beat it. Alan Stubbs and Julian Lescott up from the back. And Stubbs looked to get in there. Lescott, too. Second bite of the cherry for Arteta. Interesting. Oh, and Jaskalainen fall into urgent action. Well, I'll tell you what, Arteta does ever so well. I mean, it's not for the faint hearted in that penalty box. Great play by Arteta. Good block by Jaskalainen. Another corner for Everton. And the pressure remains applied. High arching one and Yobo up, but. Uh, 
less got penalised with a challenge on Jasko Leinen. Jasko Leinen's first real action of the game to thwart Mikel Arteta there, Gordon. Yeah, I mean, it's terrific play, and it looks as if he's going to cross it again. Just comes inside, Pedersen there, drills it towards goal. Bolton clear it, but neither goal can watch. One, of, one save apiece. Howard earlier on with a free kick. Nearly tricked him, and the wind caught it. A little bit of goal given by Jessica Line in there. Arteta trying to make something happen again. Feeds Johnson. It really has been fast and furious, just not. No space and absolutely no time in the ball at all. I mean, you look at this here. And that's somebody with terrific touch gear. First Valenti on him, gets away from him. Thinks he's got rid of his man. Next thing, Neville's on top of him. There's no room at all, no time in the ball. No space in this football field at all. Both sides competing that hard. How competitive is the word you use. delivery again Davis up there and he is hot to handle in those situations Kevin Davis and he might be on the end of this as well just drop for him oh and Campo and Valente away well I'll tell you what best chance of the game Davis does brilliantly here at the back post we always think he's a threat with his head in the box. Pulled it down beautifully there. Drilled that ball back across. The face of the Everton goal mouth. Campo coming in. Should have scored. Speed's throw possibly held up in the wind there. Try again with the boot. And then tail away. for Everton a moment ago. Well, this is a moment where Ivan Campo could well have put Bolton ahead. Well, Davis does brilliant here at the back post. Lescott doesn't get the header with a great first touch to his right foot. Picks the runner Campo out there. Gets the header completely wrong. Snaps just about beating Davis to that. Carsley again closed down, Neville. Lescott to the feet of speed. Now Juice. Madison moving outside him. But Juice will find the cross away by Lescott. Juice again. A little touch. That's a break for Kevin Davis. Now Neville. Very speed to take over for Bolton. Now Davis. Neville's block. Juve just trying to slide it inside to an elbow, really didn't come off for it. Then I am tidying up for Walton Wonders. Can either side find the breakthrough before half time here. Flag up against BT. That's one thing we haven't seen much of today the offside flag, but. 
there a cup tie I feel about it this match I mean it's been so competitive oh and Howard finding Gary Speed's head there and I'll tell you what if that's the centre of the goals it's in and when this hits off Speed's head I don't know what he's thinking about here. I mean, it's really poor, poor kick out. That's the centre of the goals. It's in. It's a short play from Valente. Carsley points the way. He's the man he was looking for. And Davis. Elka creeping up on Alan Stubbs almost unnoticed. Yeah, Alan Stubbs does well there because he's well aware of where Elka is. He's a good look round. Decides what to do. Decides to head it back to his goalkeeper. The right decision. Certainly highly experienced now, Alan Stubbs. And that's the politest way of saying it. 35. Juice and it was Joseph Yobo right in front of Nicholas and Elka, and he's probably saved Everton there. That's a fantastic bit of defending there. Just moves in to do his central defender's job there. I mean, Juve does ever so well. He dispossessed Valente, fires in a lovely ball. Brilliant defending with Yobo. Away by Carsley on the near post. Well, maybe sense Volton starting to gain a little bit of the ascendancy here. Hey, come on, hey, come on, lift it, come on! Davis a real thorn in Everton's side. Dominant in those aerial duels. Beats delivery and Uriah Rennie again saw something untoward in there. It's Tarv to Anelka. Three in the area with it. Anelka trying to dance around them all. And still yet to find the scoring touch in his return to the Premiership. Just a goal against Walsall in the Carling Cup for Nicholas Anelka. Yeah, both strikers suffering from a shot of right goals and Elka and Andy Johnson of late. Hello, Sam Allardyce, Sammy Lee. Stated that they're pretty happy with Anelka's all round game. Just need some goals for that extra bit of confidence. Well, he's certainly been uh, putting in a good shift, Nicholas Anelka. No doubt about his. Uh, the effort and endeavour. There'll be a minimum of one minute of added time. Minute of stoppage one time. Minute. Howard plucks that one out of the air. Well, I'll tell you what. If any, if any of the managers are thinking of bringing on substitutes, if they're not fit, competitive, competitive and athletic, forget it. And Johnson. Face by Hunt. Osman. Booty almost getting there. Almost dropped for Arteta. Never with a challenge. 
Osman, Carsley up there, and Pedersen away, is there one last chance before the break for Everton? I'll tell you what, there's been a lot of good penalty box defending in this first half, once again there, Pedersen's concentration is good. Yopo! Well, right on the whistle, Joseph Yopo comes close to opening their scoring. Well, just saying how good the defender have been in the penalty box, they go to sleep there, they let Yobo in with that effort, a goal. Well, Mikel Arteta also coming close for Everton in this first half, forcing a save out of UC Askelainen. Tim Howard had to readjust quickly to turn away a wind-assisted free kick coming in from Edan Tal. It's been competitive, plenty of cut and thrust, but no goals at the break. It's Everton nil, Bolton nil. Well, plenty of cut and thrust in the first half, but uh, no goals. Maybe I could even describe it as a little too competitive in that first half, but uh, more of the same promise. And the handball shout there against Henrik Pedersen. Yeah, well, a bit of defending early in this half for Bolton Wanderers to do it. There's been a huge physical presence in the penalty boxes when the three kicks and corner kicks have been coming in. Teta's delivery, and Gary Speed, the man to meet it. Now Mate away. Valente. Teta has broken away from Juice. And Nicky Hunt cuts out the cross. Yeah, good defender with Nicky Hunt. Lovely crossfield ball by Valente, good control by Arteta. Enabled him to get the ball in early, but once again defended well. Beatty the target of this. Beatty beaten by speed. Be well versed in defending long throws this afternoon, both teams. Beatty with a push on speed. Well, I can get frustrating for centre forwards when those throw ins are coming in. Obviously, they're trying the same with James Beatty's ball to do with Kevin Davis. But what to do, man in front, man behind, man in front this time is Gary Speed. James Beatty pushes him out of the way. Pretty easy decision for the referee to make there. Nelka getting up and due to put Yobo under some pressure. Awkward for Lescott. And Mossman. Well, David Moyes certainly expected a battle in this one, and he's uh, certainly not been disappointed in that respect. Well, certainly a game that he desperately wants to win. Always puts the uh, team under a bit of pressure when you're. Lost the previous game at home, Villa last week. He could pick up points at home. I don't know how difficult it is to get points away from home in the Premiership. Coming up, they've got Charlton under new management. The next game after that is Manchester United away. Here's Johnson. And Hayim across the defender situation. And Johnson would love to break his seven game duck. Yobo, Campo cutting out the cross, Yobo up again, Carsley trying to help it on. Well, you certainly expect the pace of the game to drop a, a little bit as the second half progresses, I mean, it was blistering first half. A lot. I get the feeling that one goal could settle this match. Certainly, if the first half's anything to go by, chances at a premium. Good save by Tim Howard, nearly a freak goal. One half decent save by Eskalainen. Jerry Hobo, of course, went close for Everton just before the break as well, literally on the half time whistle. involved again. I might argue if it had fallen to anyone else, then Everton probably would be one up, but 
that wasn't the way it worked out. And Elko quickly in. Here's Nicky Hunt. Now Davis. Kevin Davis broke his barren spell last week. His first goal since the opening day of the season at Sheffield United, but it didn't help bring them a win, which is what they badly need. Yeah, he's never really been prolific, has he, Kevin Davis in front of the goal, but he's terrific in these situations, looking for a little flick on. He doesn't get it this time, but he'll drop for Tal, who hits one! Well, struck it very well. Just the wrong side of Tim Howard's left-hand post. Struck it, struck it terrifically well. And once again, Kevin Davis, if he doesn't want it, he makes sure that the Everton defenders don't get any distance in their clearance. Madison in support. Don't you forget. Tal, bit of space, finds the delivery. And Scott clears. Duke might seize upon this from Hunt. And twist and turn, Joseph Yobo inside and out. And it was Stubbs who blocked it in the end. Well, Duke does ever so well. And the pass not meant for him in the first place here. He just twists and turns. Good play. Benz is short in. Hits off Stubbs. Speed coming into the back post there. Corners, set pieces. Ian Dennis, Padel had Stu proving they've got other weapons in their armoury there. That's a good spell of pressure there. Brought the Wanderers. Here come Everton with Arteta. He continues this run. Oh, it's a wonderful goal! Fantastic from Mikel Arteta. Well, they've been under the cosh, but he comes up with something glorious to give Everton the lead. Well, would you believe it? Bolton's best spell in the game. And the result and a fantastic Everton goal. They hit them in the counter attack, picks it up on the right, comes inside. An absolutely fantastic strike. Yes, Kalina, no chance whatsoever. You won't see many better goals than that this season. Well, won't get tired of seeing this one, will you? Certainly the Everton fans won't. Bolton think they're getting on top in this game. Applying all the pressure. Everton hit them in the counter-attack and a wonderful strike from Arteta he put them 1-0 in front in this game Davis foraging at the other end of his spot and try and strike back immediately oh, three oh, weeks without a goal Everton you might argue that one was well worth the wait from Mikel Arteta well it was just a goal of stunning quality Defending to do for Everton though at the moment, and it was Davis, I think, who got up there. And Campo in there too. Well, it was a real mess, but a uh, real concern too for Everton. Well, they just go over the head of Davis, didn't they? It's Campo with the head, they're just off the top of the Everton crossbar here. Crowd of bodies there. It's Campo that gets above everybody. Very close to a Bolton equaliser. He really has been a terrific start to the second half. But what a goal by Arteta. Sam Allardyce stunned by that one, just thinking his team were back and top. If he was going to take the lead, it was going to be them. Almost struck back straight away through Ivan Campo, who has been amongst the goals this season for Bolton. Such a strike from Arteta, which we will not tire of seeing. It's time. Oh, 
unlucky. Davis. Well, it's all coming close. Well, you think it's took too long to hit that. Dwells on it, nudges it again, and then eventually strikes it. So unlucky to hit the pause. Kevin Davis, keep this down. Tries to hit it hard. Smashes it way over the bar. Smacks the pause. So unlucky. Right, he had to get there, but he's presented it to Johnson. He got back in there. Ah, brilliant recovery with the defender here. Makes a mess of this there. Ball looks as if it's sneaking in behind and just hits off his body there. Great recovery tackle there. Everton corner. Nate retrieving the situation, but really the biggest slip of a chance Andy Johnson has had. Stubbs who got up there. A great delivery from Arteta there. Stubbs just gets in front of Campo here. No real direction in the head up. And Stubbs yet to score in his second spell here at Goodison Park. count against the club where he really made his name his speed wanted to let one go and does and Tim Howard responds in kind another scare for Everton and there may well be another one here as well it's delivery Lobo getting up above Kevin Davis. Not too often. Eid Antal. Howard coming to punch through the crowd. Arteta has got there again. Johnson with Ben Haim for company. Beatty in support. Arteta. Johnson. And closing Johnson down. Well, this has just been a wonderful second half. Two teams going absolutely flat out. Yoga. Clipped in there. Oh. Could make contact with the cross. Gary Speed certainly hit this effort well. Didn't have him, I mean, he picks us up in the right. And he's still pushing, driving forward. What is he, 37 years of age? Fantastic. Didn't have strike it well. Go straight at the goalkeeper. Davis and Arteta battling. Davis gets the free kick. to be some defending to do for Everton. Campo lifting it in there. Yobo got up. And Davis, now Anelka. Oh, blistering from Anelka. Oh, and somehow away. And Lente in the end will clear the danger. Absolutely brilliant play there, Campo, Davis and Elka getting closer all the time, Bolton to getting this equaliser, really driving at this Everton back four now. Well, if it does come, Everton can't say they haven't been warned, because they really have been in the ascendancy in the second half. And El Hadjouf will get a free kick, Julian Lescott unhappy. Well, they've defended these brilliantly. Well, 
obviously Davis a huge threat in these situations. Meteor, Campo, who's already skimmed the top of the crossbar, second half. Squeeze delivery, it's Juice! Yobo in the way. I'll tell you what, all on his own at the back post there. Yeah. Better header than that from Duff. Across the box, Everton in trouble. Still might be. That's great from Duff. Beatty in the way. Oh, and it's stolen by Carsley. And now Everson can break. It really has been played at a breakneck pace, this. Ben Haim in the way, and Bolton will come back again. Here's an Elka. He wants it. He's not going to get it because an Elka will keep hold. Now he'll find Juice. It's teased in there, away by Valente. And Nelka. Now Hunt. And Haim with Valente for company. And then Haim will be penalised for the push. Yeah, silly free kick to give away when they've got Everton penned in there, piling on the pressure. Got Valente in the corner. Everton substitution. Bardi's on his back. Show your appreciation for number nine, James Beattie. Well, James Beattie's afternoon is over. And in place of James, number two. It's a straight swap. No sense that uh, Everton are looking to batten down the hatches. Victor and Ichibi, 18 year old. Nigerian under 20 squad member. Here come Bolton. And he will go save the corner here. He can. He can still mount the pressure. Joe Yovo unhappy that he was impeded there. But Bolton are plotting a double change. Stay and the line five being prepared. I'll tell you, Alan Stubbs has organised that end of the back four wonderfully well, and he just wins a terrific header and makes sure the whole back four are pushing out as a unit. And tremendous today. And his experience certainly valued in those uh, aerial duels as well. Now here's Johnson, down he goes, and right on the edge, and a free kick and a card for Mato. And suddenly, there's a rush of yellow cards. Yeah, he just puts his arm round Johnson's neck. He's out with the booking spoilers for descent, persistent of fouling. I don't think the, the foul alone merited a yellow card. James Vaughan maybe being ready for Everton. What can Arteta produce this time? Well, into the side netting. Oh, yes, Still not overly concerned there, Gordon. No, I think it, it, you have suspected that. Bolton substitution coming off. Arteta might try that. He's favouring that side of his goal. Game. Number 25, Gary Speed away. coming off here for Bolton. And Nikolai Fai will come on. There he is, he's been playing much of his football at the back, but uh, normally a midfielder. And Kevin Davis, I'm sure Everton will be pretty relieved to see the back of him. And Ricardo Vazte, the young man from Portugal, on to replace him. Well, it's certainly not because of the performances that have been substituted Kevin Davis or Gary Speed. Obviously, this late stage in the game, just trying something to see if we can change the luck a little bit in the second half. Ball. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum three minutes, of three minutes of added stoppage time. time. I tell you what, it's been an absolutely pulsating second half. And credit to both sets of players for the effort and commitment they put into this game. Neither. Man, you for many arguments with the players. Looks as though it's going to be settled by, well, just a, a wonderful Arteta goal.
as good a goal as you'll see at Goodison Park this season. And if it is settled by that, I think Bolton can con consider themselves a little bit unlucky. Neither side really deserve to lose today. Away by Tal. Bolton have done pretty much all, all they can to pull themselves back to level terms. It's been a huge, huge Bolton effort in the second half. And I think Sam Allardyce will feel a little bit hard done by this, this side having got something out of this game. But there's been some terrific defending with these Everton players. Some brilliant penalty box defending. Fire in there. And full marks to the referee as well. I think he's handled this game brilliantly today. It's always going to be a stern test for the teams and the officials. Here's Zidane Tal, looking for Vazte. Runs beyond him. So what we have is just to eke out what remains. Still waiting to bring James Horn on. Well, I can assure you it's not a tactical switch. That's only a killer, but I tell you. Certainly jousted plenty of times in the past. And they've always been uh, full-blooded affairs, this one no different. Oh, and it should be. Almost stealing it off the toe of Ricardo Vazte. Here's Vazte. Neville got a piece on it. Not away, and a corner. And you see Askelainen is going to make his way forward for this one. Well, they've defended brilliantly this second 45 minutes, Everton, but for David Moyes, the Everton fans here, a bit more defending to do. Stelios with the delivery, Mate up, and looped off, and it should be. It's going to be the decision. And say OK. Well, Bolton have threw absolutely everything at this Everton defence today. And they've just not wilted. And a really brave, courageous performance defensively by Everton. And Sam certainly can't complain about his team's performance. It's an Everton victory. Fantastic strike from Mikel Arteta dividing the sides. A stunning goal and for all Bolton's tremendous efforts they couldn't fashion an equaliser. It's Everton's three points and it finishes here. Everton won, Bolton Wanderers nil. Well any game against Bolton and any points you pick up against Bolton are always going to be hard. They made it really difficult for us. Uh, the game was tight, could have gone either way for periods. And uh, it took a wonder goal for Mikel Arteta to break the sort of the deadlock and then then we were on the back foot with Bolton pressure. Yeah, you defended doggedly but defended extremely well. Yeah, we did and we needed to because you know we've we've defended pretty well all season, but just in recent weeks we've we've lost the odd game one nil and it was important we got back to trying to win the odd game one nil. Uh, sometimes in the Premier League there's very little between the sides. Uh, you know, it could be a decision, it could be a goal at today, you know, so you've got to try and get that moment if you can and make that moment uh, sort of happen for you. And in turn, you need the defenders then to keep a clean sheet. Mikel, have you scored many like that before? I don't know, no, maybe similar, more with my right foot obviously than, than with my left. But that was really nice to score and, and get the three points for the team, so really pleased. Yeah, a special moment in a game where you had quite a lot of defending to do. Yeah, because it's really hard to play against them. They are really strong sides and they try to put the ball in the box and make you defend so much all the time. So we knew that we would have some chances and, and we need to take them and I think we, we got the one and that was enough. And in, in terms of the situation, you know, you, you've had three games without a win, th three games without a goal. I mean, back on track now, hopefully. Yeah, we're really frustrating because we deserve more in 
some of the games we lost, and and today has been a really competitive game, and and just this goal made the difference and and make us get the three point, which is wonderful for us. Today it was a bit more resilient, a bit more tough. Uh, it wasn't as good a football as we played in in, uh, in recent weeks, but uh, for the confidence, hopefully that will do do everybody the world a good. So Everton beat Bolton by a goal to nil at Goodison Park.